Bonjour. Hi. Um, my name is Andrea Corona Jenkins, and I take pictures for a living. I like to take pictures, especially with old Polaroid cameras, and they look a little something like this. So a funny thing happens when I take out my Polaroid camera to shoot. It doesn't matter where I'm at, anywhere, people stop me. They, they want to know about this camera. And if they're your age, they say things like, oh, what is that thing? Or is that actually a camera? And if they're really young, they want to see the back of the camera to see if they can see the picture in the back, which of course is not there and they can't see it. Now, if they're your parents' age, they say, I remember that camera, or I had a camera like that growing up. In fact, I had a couple people have already said that to me since I've been here. Um, and sometimes they share stories with me about um, these cameras that they had growing up or that their grandparents or their parents had, or they share stories with me about Polaroid pictures that they still have someplace. And I love this because it just confirms what I already know to be true, and that is that there's something a little bit magic about a Polaroid camera. There, there's just something about it that sparks something in people. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't get these kinds of reactions when I take out my iPhone or my digital SLR, unless it's people telling me to stop taking pictures, which happens. Um, it's, you know, they don't have any memories associated with those kinds of cameras and they don't have questions. But when I take out my Polaroid camera, people, they just stop me. It just happens everywhere I am. So. What is it about this camera? What is it about this type of photography, instant photography? Um, what is it that's so magic about it? And maybe more importantly, what does that have to do with you, your generation? Um, well, for one thing, um, when instant photography was first invented, which was 1948, that's forever ago, right? Like 65 years ago, it's ancient, um, you know, there was, there was nothing like it in the world. There, there wasn't anything like it, and there actually still really, still isn't really. And what's funny is that it began with a question asked by a three-year-old girl. Um, legend has it that um, the daughter of Edwin Land, and Edwin Land is the American scientist who invented the Polaroid camera, when she asked why she couldn't see the picture as soon as he took it, when she asked that question, it sort of got him to thinking. He had sort of a light bulb moment. And he started asking, well, why can't I see the picture? Why can't we see the picture right after we take it? And he, he couldn't get the idea out of his mind, and he thought about it and thought about it. And legend also has it that he actually came up with the idea for the Polaroid camera in about an hour. Um, but it took him five years and a lot of hard work to actually make the camera that would produce the images that his daughter and the rest of the world could, could see instantly. So one of the first types of uh, Polaroid cameras looked a little like this. Yeah. And I'm going to try and take a photo. Let's see. You saw it on the film, but I'm going to see if I can. And you wait for the chemicals. There's chemicals in here. You wait for them to do their thing. And uh, about 15 seconds, so I'm going to 
kill some time, 15 seconds, and maybe peel it apart a little bit earlier than I normally would, which means, let's see here. Right? So magic. There's your image, right? So this is pretty revolutionary when it came out. Pretty big deal. Nobody had seen anything like it. But the real game changer for instant photography was a camera that Edwin Land invented called the Polaroid SX70. And that camera looks like this. This. It's flat. Pull it out. Yeah. And I'm going to do the same thing. Or maybe I'll come over here. Yeah. So, right, it just comes out. No peeling apart, no chemicals to deal with, just the image. And the best part is that the image just gradually appears like magic. You don't have to do anything but wait. So when this camera came out, it changed everything. Now, I know for you all, to be able to see an image right away, is, it's not really a big deal, right? Because we shoot with our iPhones, our smartphones, and our digital cameras all the time, and we can see images right away all the time. So it doesn't seem like a big deal. But when it came out, there was nothing like it, and people had not seen anything like it. And it really just completely re revolutionized the way people took photographs and shared them. In fact, the, the Polaroid SX-70 is still considered to be one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century, and I think mirrors the success of the iPhone. Um, both of these kinds of cameras have changed the way we take photographs and the way we share and the way we tell our stories in really pretty profound ways. So. Now you're probably asking, if we, if we have smartphones and we have digital cameras, why would we bother with an old Polaroid? You know, why, when we take pictures, when the way we take pictures now is, it's even more instant than the original instant camera, why are we even having this conversation? And how can an old Polaroid camera compete with uh, what we have now? And the answer to that is pretty simple. It's, it can't. It can't compete, but I don't think it needs to. I don't think it has to because there's no substitution for something like this. There's no substitution for it. There's just nothing that is ever going to come again like that, and it, that just gives it value. Um, a few weeks ago, as I was preparing this talk, I sent an email out to um, a few of my fellow instant photographers that I admire um, and asked them a question. I asked them, what would you say to a group of young people about instant photography? What would you want them to know? And I knew the answer. I knew what I wanted to say to you all, but I wanted to hear what my, my peers would say. Um, and one of my friends, my friend Lisa, put it perfectly, and I'm going to read it so that I get it right. She said, what would I say? That nothing beats the magic of instant photography. That there isn't anything else on the planet like holding a photograph in your hands. Nothing like that. That the shape, the look, the feel of instant is unlike any other photographic experience in the world. That it lends itself to happy accidents and that's where some of the best art lies. And she's right, she's exactly right. That's exactly what I want you to know. That's exactly what I would say to you that there's just no substitution for things like this. There's no sound like the zip and the whir a Polaroid camera makes as it shoots a picture out. There's no feeling like the one you get when you hold that picture in your hand and you wait for the image to appear. Um, and as hard as the, the makers of iPhone apps and digital cameras try, they can't reproduce the look and the feel of that. There's something about what Polaroid cameras do with color and light that is very special. Um, that's where those happy accidents come in. Uh, those are the kind of surprises that you just, you, you can't duplicate. And so that's not to say, I want to be clear, that's not to say that shooting with um, iPhones and digital cameras is not exciting and that shooting that way doesn't have real value and importance because, you know, the fact that I can 
stand up here if I had my iPhone with me, which I don't, but I could take a picture of you all. And I could, you know, here you're sitting in this room in a suburb of France, and I could post it on Instagram or text it to my family and friends who live all the way across the world, and they could see it almost instantly. That's pretty amazing, right? And, you know, the fact that I can connect with someone in Tokyo over a picture they took of their cup of coffee or, um, you know, some street art that they found in the neighborhood, that, that is its own kind of magic, and it really does have value. But it's not meant to replace everything that's come before it. It's not meant to replace every single camera that has come before it. And so, you know, now you have more at your fingertips than any other generation, which is exciting, but a little scary, because it means that technology is pushing you, pushing all of us along at a breakneck speed. And sometimes when the world is going along so, when everything is going along so quickly, it's sometimes hard to see things clearly. And um, it means that you have to seek out the things that force you to slow down just a little bit. The things that are gonna help you see the world with new eyes, with different eyes. And when you pick up something like a Polaroid camera, it forces you to slow down. You know, with that Polaroid camera, you have eight or 10 shots to a pack of film, and that when you go out, you have to think about what you're gonna take a picture of. You have to think about what you want to say with that image before you press that little red button. And you have to look a little closer at things. You have to look a few different ways and look until you, know, you see what you need to see before you take that picture. And instead of firing off a dozen or you know, several dozen pictures with your iPhone or your digital camera, you take just one, you press that shutter, and you hold your breath, and you wait for magic. That's why I think picking up something like an, a Polaroid camera, or really anything that's a little bit older maybe, that just causes you to slow down a little bit, anything that forces you to slow down and see the world, look at the world a little differently, it has value. Some of you, and I would hope actually most of you, are already telling stories with the pictures that you take with your smartphones, or maybe even some of you are into photography a little bit more and you're taking pictures with digital cameras. Um, I think keep telling those stories with your iPhones and your digital cameras. Keep, keep taking those pictures. But it might be a value to you um, to pick up a Polaroid camera, whether you're interested in photography or not because I really think that everyone deserves to hold just a little bit of magic in their hands. Thank you.